Hi guys, recently my mom and stepdad were in town visiting me and we went to Hollywood for the day, uh, it was their suggestion. So I made a super duper quick vlog about what we did. Um, it's very short, so feel free to watch and let me know what you think. I'm new to vlogging, so this was the first time I ever really did anything with it, um, but I'm looking forward to doing it again because it was a lot of fun. So enjoy our quick little tour through Hollywood. My parents have visited LA once before, but they wanted to go back to the Walk of Fame, so we parked on Yucca Street, because I can generally find free two-hour parking, and then we walked towards Hollywood Boulevard. My mom's favorite thing to ask is, is that place famous? Since we were in Hollywood pretty early, my mom was able to get all the photos of the stars on the Walk of Fame that she wanted, which was super duper awesome for her. Um, then after that, we kind of walked from Hollywood Boulevard to Highland, um, but Hollywood ended up being closed off because of the world premiere of The Lion King. So we turned down Highland and walked towards Sunset instead, and that led us to the Hollywood Dream Garden, which is a nursery with a wide selection of indoor and outdoor plants. It's very cool. After that, I had to take my record-loving stepdad to Amoeba Music, aka the world's largest independent record store, and we had a blast going through the hundreds of records and DVDs and could have easily spent the whole afternoon there. Quick little shout out to Julia Butters, who is in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And there's an ad for it right there at Amoeba, which is so cool. I love her and I'm so proud of her and I can't wait to see that movie. Yes, it does have coffee in it. I got to pick lunch, so we went to Sweet Green because I was craving a salad, and my parents did not disappoint me because they made sure to tell me how crazy it was that we each spent $14 on a salad, but whatever. Quick little drive back over the hill into the valley to my mom's favorite spot, which she requested this time. Porto's Bakery. If you have never been, they have multiple locations and you must go. They serve Cuban-inspired dishes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and have the best baked goods on the planet. The line usually wraps around, like, outside the door, around the restaurant. It's insane. Right now it's super duper short, which almost makes it hard to decide what you want. But look at all these amazing pastries. You want every single one of them, obviously, or at least I do. So we didn't get all of them, but we did get some chocolate croissants for breakfast, a couple chocolate chip cookies, an almond croissant, and not featured my favorite thing, which is a fruit tart. My mama wanted a makeover, so of course I treated her to one, two technically, but I didn't get a photo of the softer, subtle look, so I did a glam look for her, and she looks very cute showing off to her husband. She really liked it. Um, and then, yeah, at Amoeba, I got a copy of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, just because I don't have it on DVD, and then Gosford Park, which I have not seen. No vlog is complete without the appearance of Zeus of the House Lacoste, the first of his name, the unhearing, king of dog parks, cow of the chasing of balls, chewer of all things, protector of the realm, and the goodest boy. Here's a silly photo just to close us out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Feel free to follow, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.